All right, here's the story of a retired English teacher from Greenville, South Carolina, who decided she was going to make a political statement of sorts with the Oval Office and decided to correct a received letter that was uh, gained from President Trump. She lives right here in Atlanta and talked to Caitlin Ross about why she wanted to fix the letter. Take a look at this letter. Marks for capitalization, punctuation, sentence structure. At the end, she just writes, OMG, this is wrong. But retired teacher Yvonne Mason says she couldn't help herself. As soon as she read the first sentence, she cringed. She says her big issue is that this is supposed to be a formal letter from the White House. And she says it uses far too many I statements. I would have dinged them on that if they were in my classroom. Like there's got to be a better way to phrase this instead of referring to yourself. Self-referential letters aren't as effective. She also points out random capitalization, like here, here, and here. She says she knows this is a form letter, likely written by a staffer, but she thinks the White House should be held to a higher standard. There seems to be a tremendous amount of anger at me personally because I was disrespecting the president or because I was insulting the president. Well. Maybe, but it, it's a letter, and it was my letter to do with what I wanted to do. She says the insult that hurt her most was traitor, because she feels like anyone who loves their country should be engaging with their government. The insult she liked the most, old hippie hag, because she says, well, that's pretty much true.